so I'm Hakim Atek, uh, working at uh, IAP. And I have five minutes to tell you about Lomas Galaxies uh, with JWST. Uh, so we've been, uh, been hearing a lot about extreme galaxies, very massive galaxies. I think we also need to work on these um, low mass galaxies, which, as you know, are the most representative population, by far the dominant population uh, at high redshift. So if we want to understand early galaxy formation, there is no escaping uh, this population. Uh, so recently with JWST, we got the uh, very deep near spec spectra of the faintest galaxies at the epoch of reionization. So it's uh, mainly uh, galaxies with absolute magnitude between minus 17 and minus 15, thanks to gravitational lensing of galaxy clusters in the Uncover collaboration. So this is one of the example where you can see here rest frame UV and optical spectrum of a very low mass galaxy, 10 to the six solar masses at redshift almost eight, where you see this beautiful spectrum. And this is representative of the whole population, actually, this sample, where they have very low masses, very low metallicity, and blue uh, UV continuum slope. Uh, so with this, we were also we were able to measure the ionizing efficiency of this galaxy, and it turns out they have a very high ionizing efficiency, and so high that you can actually reionize very easily the universe, even with low escape fractions, uh, as you can see here. So, so we might run now in a problem we have too many ionizing photons at the epoch of ionization, so we need to fix something, either the ionization models or these measurements of uh, Xi ion. Uh, we have heard this morning about stochastic star formation, so you can have uh, wide variations of the ionizing efficiency, and we also need to measure in a robust way the escape fraction of these uh, galaxies, so there's a lot to be done to understand this is uh, really what's going on, the epoch of ionization. And finally, we can also extend the mass metallicity relation at the epoch of ionization to very low masses. So we're down to, the, uh, to 10 to the 6 solar masses. So of course, with this kind of relation and the scatter, uh, there is a strong power to discriminate between all galaxy formation models that use different um, star formation efficiencies, feedback, and also evolving IMF. So you can check this very nice work uh, done by Irina Shemerinska. And uh, finally, I would like to uh, remind you and tell you about the, uh, this uh, 40th IAP conference this year. It will be dedicated to the formation of early galaxies and black holes with JWST. And uh, remember to submit an abstract uh, before September 10th, and we'll be all happy to see you in Paris.